Good job, Roger. Good job, Roger. Good job, Roger, and a decent one, too. Yeah, that's a chunky little guy. Yep. Today's segment, we're doing some fall pan fishing with Goose Gutsman. He's an avid fisherman here in central Minnesota, and we've got panfish lakes like this all over the country. We're chasing crappies and maybe some bluegills. Just a little guy to start us out. Goose is gonna share with us some really cool tactics for catching panfish on a lake near you. Nice one. I'm getting them figured out. I'm going down on about six count, Roger, and then just reeling it slow. Okay. Yeah, that deadly tail, it's already, I gotta put a new one on, it's already getting wrecked, but that BMC Moon Eye, got the nice keeper on it. Right there, that keeps your plastic pinned on there nice. Little tip for you, take your line, I use a polymer knot, pull your line back towards your hook tip. That keeps your jig so it's horizontal in the water and you get way more action out of it, and you'll get way more bites. There he goes, not that time. Oh man, nice one. There's a dandy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jumbos. Beauty. Nice. Throw that one back. Triple kicking ripple. my butt, kicking my butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so they're biting good. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. One of our biggest ones yet. You don't think they don't like them slab wraps? Look at that. Proof's in the pudding. Slab wraps got good hooks. He won't coming off. I'll tell you that right now. There we go. Let him go. Have a good day. Mm, oh, big, big, big sunny. Sun. Big sunny. <laughs> Beauty there. You're as big as your hand. That's beautiful stuff and such a precious resource. Always want to release these. No point in putting a fillet knife in one like that. I don't know what happened to them. They just skedaddled, though. Okay. Well, like you said, must be a northern around Yep. There. Oh, nice. What sunny. a monster sunfish. Unbelievable. Oh, dandy. Huh? Good job, Roger. <laughs> just an absolutely beautiful fish. Little VMC Moon Eye. Monster bluegill. Little feller, but we're back on him. Now, well, Goose, talk about that real slight position change that you did there with the boat, because that's important in staying on top of these bites. Yeah, we shut down where we're at back there, so I just got my Minkota Trova, bumped us ahead down the weed line a little farther and get on some new fish. And you're talking about a 10 yard move, basically. Yep, about 10 yard, maybe 15 yards, but right away, crappie. Because if you ain't getting bites, don't be afraid to move right away. Keep moving down the line or back but just keep working it. Slab wrap, got one. Slab wrap? Yep. For the line that Goose and I are both using on our reels, we've got four to six pound suffix 832 braid, and then we've got six pound suffix advanced fluorocarbon leaders. We're using that setup for both the jigs that we're casting as well as those Rapala slab wraps. I like this high vis line because I can see them light bites when the jig's falling, it jumps. You see that tick on there a lot easier. Another that. one on that slab wrap? Yeah, there's a big one here. Big copy. Oh, yeah, he got it. Oh, nice. You tell me you don't like that. Look at that. You tell me you don't like them slab wrap? They catch them. Got her there. There you go. It didn't hurt the fish at all. Look at that mouth. No blood. Going back for some kid to catch, hopefully, someday. Oh yeah. Now, if we're catching some real nice panfish here, this is a nice crappie on a slab rack. That's a great ice fishing lure. And when you're pan fishing, sometimes you'll get into a real aggressive bite form. You can catch them on little panfish jigs, ultralight jigs. 
little twister tails and such, or even use crappie minnows. But if you've got those ultralights in the boat and you got on an aggressive bite, you can throw those and catch just as many fish. And you've got one too. Oh, they're biting it good, huh? Oh, that one crushed it. That's a big sunny. You don't think them sunnies don't like them ultralight lures? Hammered that slab wrap big time. Wow, what an unbelievable hour and a half of fishing. Some beautiful crappies in sunfish. Goose, I cannot thank you enough for putting us on this fight. Such an informative segment, sharing all the details of how you're catching these fish. Folks, you can use this same information to put panfish in your boat on a lake near you. I'd like to thank Goose Gutsman for fishing with me today. I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.